All right, here is another delta math one. We're still on the attributes of quadratics. All right, and so now we're going to do visual domain and range. These are kind of nice to practice on since we haven't done these in a while. So we're going to do these visual domain and range. All right, so you have to make sure you know what range and domain is. Range is my y value. So here's my range. The range is the y axis. And what we want to know is where is the lowest point that our drawing is on the graph? And what's the highest? Highest, of course, are the positive numbers. Or not, well, let me rephrase that. It didn't necessarily mean positive. It's the larger number, and or the highest it goes, and the lowest it goes. So we always want to put the lowest first. All right, so as you see here, the way they have this, I'm going to start with the lowest number. And now we're talking about the range. So if I'm down here, we go here, what's the lowest it goes? It looks like it's right here and right here. So this is only... So negative seven. So I'm going to go the lowest it goes is negative seven. We're going to use less than or equal to because we start with the lowest number. If you start with the highest number, then it'd be great. But we always want to start with the lowest. Now, this one has a solid dot, what we call it a closed dot, which means we include negative seven. And it also the line is touching it, too, and it's a solid line. So both of these are telling us, hey, this is an equal to. And that's what we put equal to. All right, range means y, so we're going to put a y in the middle here. And then we're going to still continue with less than or equal to. All right, and then we get up here and we look and see here's the dot. It's a closed dot, so that's an equal to. And negative 2 is the highest it goes. So this drawing is on the y-axis is between negative 7 and negative 2. That's the only space it takes up on the y-axis. So we're going to put negative 2. All right. And that's it. Submit. And see, this is what I'm talking about. Here's the y axis. We just want to know how high it went and how low it goes on the y axis. We just want to know how much space it takes up on the range, the y axis. <laughs> All right, so let's do another one. All right, here's one. This one's range again. So we're talking about y-axis. So we want to go down here to how low. Looks like it's at negative four. So I'll put negative four here. We're going to use less than or equal to because it's a closed dot and the salt line's touching it. So we're going to say equal to. Range means y. So we're going to put y. We're going to look at the top. It looks like it goes up to six and it's a closed as well. So we're going to say equal to, and then we're going to put six. And yay, I'm right again. Again, we just want to know how much space it takes up on the number line on the y-axis. That's all we want to know. No all right, here's a domain. Our domain means the x value. So we're only interested on how much space it takes up on the x-axis. So here's the x-axis. So we have to kind of look at where it starts at. It looks like it starts right here. We're going to start with negative 6. See where it's right here? So it looks like it's at negative 6. All right, it is a closed dot. So that means it's an equal to. So we're going to say less than or equal to. We're talking about domain. So that's x. We're going to continue using less than or equal to because this dot is also and is at 2. And hit submit. So we did good. All right, let's see if we can find a couple more and then we'll go on. All right, oh, this looks good. Oh, this is a good one. All right, use the domain uh, for the following graph, okay? So the domain means X. So we're just interested in the X, not the Y. So it looks like it starts at negative eight here on the X axis. We're only taking X axis, so negative eight. So negative eight, we're going to say less than or equal to because it's a solid, oh, what's it say, or. I must have hit top 10 or backs. Oh, I hit or. Find the domain. I did something wrong. 
I think it's frozen. Oh, there we go. Okay, here we go. Now let's try it. Less than or equal to. We're talking about domain, so it's x, which is less than or equal to, and it looks like it goes to nine. It was weird. It kind of like I might have hit something that messed it up. See, so we're only interested in how much space it takes up on the x-axis. Uh, <clears throat> I'm trying to find a different one. Okay, this is a oh, this is range. Oh, this is range. This will work. All right, so look at this one. This is a little different, so I wanted to kind of I like doing a little different ones. All right, so range means y so you got to start with the y-axis you don't care about the x you only care what we want to know how high and how low this goes all right so if you look it looks like it stops right here on the y-axis so that's zero all right so we could say zero is less than or equal to and the reason why i'm saying less than or equal to because it's a solid line it's touching it y is zero and what's the highest it goes to it looks like it goes to 11. So we'll say, since we're talking about range, we have to put a Y in here. But listen, are we gonna put less than or equal to or equal to or less than? If you notice, this is a open. So that means it doesn't actually touch 11. It's just below 11. So we're gonna say less than, not the equal to, because it's just less than. And then we're gonna pick 11. You see why I chose not the bar because that's open. It's right here and it's at 11. See? All right, I think we're good. Uh, let's see if there's one for domain here. Oh, this is a good one for domain. Let's do this one. This one, one more time. All right, so we start here. Look, it's an open, so it starts at negative 10. And we're going to just have less than because it's an open. And we're going, it's x because we're doing x. This one's a close, so it's going to be less than or equal to. And it's at 8. All right. Let's see if we can find one. No. No. I think we're good. I will just stop here.